If you grew up in the early 2010s watching YouTube, then you may remember the infamous channel, The Annoying Orange. Uploading their first video over 13 years ago, the character quickly grew in popularity, gaining the reputation as a family-friendly comedy channel. However, what if I told you that The Annoying Orange was also hiding a darker side? A side with horrifying videos and disturbing websites that come nowhere near the orange people are familiar with. In this video, I'll be showing you that unsettling media, along with telling you the story surrounding the analog horror of The Annoying Orange. For a little context, in 2009, Annoying Orange videos were just starting to grow in popularity. So during this earlier time, it was fairly common to stumble into knockoff channels trying to cash in on the character's success. However, one of the channels uploading videos at this time would create content dramatically different than anything around. The account, named I Hate Annoying Orange, would instead upload several videos in a VHS format, filming themselves torturing fruits. For example, in one of the channel's first videos, we watch a skit where the Annoying Orange begs for his life, while the man filming peels his skin off. Later, the channel would make another upload, where this time we'd watch a video of an orange being stomped on while the Annoying Orange Gundam style parody plays in the background. Today, many of these videos have been deleted, and while they were pretty creepy on their own, the strangest part about them was that each one included a link in their description to a website called IHateAnnoyingOrange.com. Upon visiting the website, you'd be greeted with a short bio written by the author, Steven, and a forum where anyone could post their hatred of the Annoying Orange. For example, in the blog category of the website, one user took a picture of the orange section at a grocery store and captioned it, lost my temper at the grocery store and had to be escorted out by employees. In another post, user XXOrangeHater29XX shared a picture of the annoying orange melting in lava, along with the caption, you won't believe how happy this made me. Many of these posts were fairly innocent, albeit slightly creepy. However, where the website actually began to get disturbing was when you visited the photography section. On this part of the website, Steven would document his annoying orange fantasies by taking autopsy-like photos of different mutilated fruits. In one photo, Steven is shown slicing an orange in front of two clementines, writing the caption, I'll make your children watch. In another photo, Steven appears to have blowtorched a marshmallow, along with the message, not even a fruit written in blood next to it. What's even stranger is that when you visit this part of the website, tiny little screams would play as a sound effect, almost like Steven was documenting the torture of real-life victims. However, after scrolling through the entirety of the I Hate Annoying Orange website, the most unsettling piece of media I found, ironically enough, wasn't even created by Steven. In 2012, in the blog section, user so-and-so uploaded a post mentioning the mobile app Annoying Talking Orange, along with the caption, I think this app might be a virus. I forgot to feed my orange and now all of my contact information is missing. Hearing this got me curious, and so I did some research on the app, and what I found was pretty startling. For those of you unaware, the Annoying Talking Orange app was a game designed around 2012 in which you're responsible for taking care of a talking orange, either by feeding it or playing minigames together. However, if you weren't able to take care of your orange, things would take a dark turn. Opening the app after more than a week of inactivity would prompt you with the message, your talking orange is dead. After this, the app would begin acting strangely, doing things like asking permission to view contacts on your phone or gain access to your files. If you hit accept on any of these various permissions, Annoying Talking Orange would begin to infect your device. This could lead to things like your contacts getting deleted, or even your saved photos being taken by the app. It got to the point where one user who had the Annoying Talking Orange app installed got their GPS infected, resulting in them receiving the wrong directions. Unfortunately for this user, this would happen while they were driving late at night, leading to them missing an important turn and veering off the side of a mountain. However, in my opinion, the creepiest thing Annoying Talking Orange could do was ask permission to use your location. If you hit accept, the app would go dark with nothing but the message, Annoying Talking Orange is on its way. Today, both the Annoying Talking Orange app and the I Hate Annoying Orange YouTube channel appear to be deleted. However, despite this, the website still seems to be available, so I'll be putting it in the description for those of you curious enough to visit it. Anyway, if you'd like to see a behind the scenes of this video or support the channel, I now have a join option for $4.99 a month. This will give you access to these extra videos, and you'll also get a credit at the end like this. So with all that being said, now you know the analog horror of the Annoying Orange. Thank you all for watching.